Um, also, we noticed that today, uh, being a lot hotter than yesterday, um, we've got a 30 degree day today. That's probably around about 12 degrees hotter than uh, yesterday before we did the, uh, the front mount. But uh, so it'll be interesting with a hotter day today and the front mount over the cooler day yesterday and the standard intercooler on the Hilux. Okay, got some data that we'll go over. Good result there guys. After 3000 RPM, we've gained a 10% increase in efficiency. So the engine is working 10% less to re achieve the same result. The peak power with the top mount intercooler was about 3300, and now the peak power is down at 3000 RPM, which is really good for efficiency, fuel economy, and the engine's not working as hard. What we spoke about before with the front mount intercooler being a lot more beneficial for the car, that's an obvious result right there. Even with the hotter ambient air temps, we see a reduction there from about 85, 86 degrees uh, down to a very flat, actually starting off at 50 and ending up at uh, 58 degrees. So a marked difference in there, even though we've got a hotter ambient day today. Uh, as far as the dyno graph for power is concerned, the usable power under the is very apparent. So we haven't done anything with the tuning yet, but after 3000 RPM, we've gained a 10% increase in efficiency. So the engine is working 10% less to re achieve the same result. The peak power with the top mount intercooler was about 3300, and now the peak power is down at 3000 RPM. Uh, so, which is really good for efficiency, fuel economy, and of course the engine's not working as hard. The uh, efficiency of the engine is definitely better. The whole dynamics of that front mount intercooler, the reason why we put it on in the first place, is just being evidenced now. Stay tuned because we do want to put a new power tune onto this car. And uh, if you follow us with the link below, uh, you'll be able to catch up with all the details. Thank you.